The first thing we do is remove the panels that cover the battery compartment so that we can properly service the battery. Then we carefully roll the battery about a third of the way out, being careful not to go too far or it could fall on the floor. It's best to put some wooden blocks down underneath so it can rest on them if it does slip. Now we begin the visual inspection of the battery. The first thing we do is to look for signs of spillage and corrosion. Carefully inspect the top of the battery and clean it off if necessary with a proper chemical formula that will dissolve the corrosion and you can rinse all the traces away. Now we can check the various components. The first thing we do is to check the two battery cables. The red one is the positive, and the black cable is the negative battery cable. These are the links between the cells. There are 12 cells in a 24 volt battery, and they are linked together by these links. A 36 volt battery has 18 cells, a 48 volt battery has 24 cells. This is a filler cap. There are 12 filler caps in a 24 volt battery. Once a month, you must remove these filler caps and check the level of the electrolyte in the battery. Just fill the battery to only one quarter inch above the top of the plates in the battery. Overfilling can cause the battery compartment to flood. This can damage the surrounding area. For best results, you should add battery chem at least once a year. These tubes are part of the automatic battery watering system. We found it to be inoperable at the time we made this film. It's very important to do your own manual check on the water system at least once a month. Things can go wrong with automatic systems and these batteries are too expensive to ruin. These are the battery cables leading out to the control system of the forklift. They're very thick so they can carry the current. The red is the positive cable and the black is the negative cable. We are pointing to the negative cable terminal. It has a black plastic cover on it to protect it. This concludes the part one familiarization checkup of a forklift battery. All that remains is to put the cover back on and the battery is ready for service. Part 2 will go further into depth of servicing forklift batteries. We appreciate your watching and we hope you remember to use battery chem in your forklift batteries at least once a year. This will ensure the life of your battery and it will extend the life of your battery. This video is brought to you by the makers of Battery Chem. Battery Chem is now sold worldwide.